and Jerome, uh, the marketing and producer of the game of Echo of Soul, and uh, we just we just got some hands on with it. And congratulations, first of all, it's a great game. And so, tell me about sort of how this game made it from. It was in Korea, right? And how it made it to here. The game was uh, it was released in 2013, yes. right, in Korea. It was a huge game over there. Um, and so then it went out to Thailand. It was equally huge. And so yeah, we set out to kind of bring it here to the West. And here it is, now it's available to everyone. If someone was approached this game like never played an MMO before, how would this game be good for them? This is very much reminiscent to this first wave of MMOs that you had. So it tries to like build up on top of that and have a very solid game with a lot of content. The game is huge. I mean, it has 1,600 quests, right? So they're putting emphasis on having a lot right from the start and also building up as it goes. In this game, there is a lot of choice to be, to be made. Which class, which uh, specialization you can have after, but also um, if you want to play PvE or PvP. For example, the players who prefer to play in PvP can only play PvP at a certain level and you can gain XP and reach the max level only doing PvP. Name you go with boy? Are you guys? I went with Mogar. Keep nice. Simple. You know, the warrior. warrior. I'll get like that one day. I am going to be a sorceress. A nice. Mage. Would you say that suits your personality the most? Totally. I'm, t I'm a fiery lass. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here with uh, Philip and Gregoire. You're the senior GM, and you're a GM on the game as well. And you guys just watched us play it for a period of time. You had us, you ran us through the first dungeon in the game. I think I read that the, or you guys said the world best is about 30 minutes? No, no, the best is around eight minutes. It's just <laughs> But otherwise, when we tested it, and with a regular group of that level and a regular gear, it would be about half an hour, yeah. And what did we do it? Two hours and <laughs> six minutes, six minutes yeah. and 12 seconds. So uh, if we were to get some constructive criticism or feedback on how to improve, what, what, what could we do? Ooh, where to begin? <laughs> <laughs> Over time, going through the dungeon, you, you can see your skills were progressing. Your strategy was coming together a bit better, along with some help um, and some tips <laughs> um, here and there. But that's normal for the first time playing the game. There's so many legs! Come on, Ryan, you can do this. No, I can't! There are too many legs! Yeah, yeah it's crazy. I died. Yeah, very, very, very... Yeah. Oh, I died a lot. I have a shield? Yeah. I have a shield? <laughs> oh, 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 I, that. I think we feel a little pressure because we have people watching us. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first dungeon in the game, or the first multiplayer dungeon. How long does it typically take to get there from tutorial to that moment? If you're rushing pretty fast, it would take you about four to five hours. So if we'd had five hours of experience, we probably would have been able to do it in 45 minutes or so on the first try, I would think. We hit him with these three. Are you having a fight with a barrel? Dead. Oh, there was a guy there. It was a guy in the barrel. If you punch a barrel, is that a fight? Okay. If, if it hits your back. <laughs> One of the things I like the most about it is there's no healer class. So how does that affect the way you play the game? You have that well feeling, and some of the strategies are taken back from that game. So you mm -hmm. can find um, the usual kill the ads before the boss because, well, the ads are buffing the boss and all. But the fact of not having any healers, you have to completely re adapt your way of thinking, the way you engage the boss and deal with the fight. It's like playing something completely new while not being new. And the pop up there is just an, an achievement that he just unlocked. The game has a lot of achievements in it. We like those. You get in game rewards for achievements. Yeah, he's got a pet because of an achievement. We have um, a type of bed that would actually go and loot for you, and another type that would uh, give you up to 12 inventory slots. It's the Grumpy Cat. <laughs> Everyone likes Grumpy Cat. The game is a full-blown MMO, right? I mean, like, it's, I mean, that's, everything's in there, and it's free to play. So once you get the level cap of 60 or so, like, it, you know, I find a lot of times you'll run into stuff where there's just nothing else to do. Like, what are you guys going to do to combat that? Every month, um, okay. they, they uh, a regular patch with a lot of content, for example, rates. Rates would be something which you're coming up really soon. So every month you're going to add new stuff to the game. Exactly. And then there's other things that are going to build onto the game. For instance, we have a companion app. It's going to be for iOS and Android. And that's going to be an app kind of taking the adventure on the go. So you're going to be able to stay in contact with the rest of your guild, uh, work with your equipment, or even exchange, or sell some stuff. Echo Soul. It's my time to shine. <laughs> Ah, check out these guns, baby! 